So we've um, cleaned up the brushes also with uh, a bit of uh, rag that's been soaked in alcohol just to get any grease that might be on there off and now we're going to start reassembling it. As I said I would uh, probably um, replace these brushes if we had any because they are a little bit worn uh, but we don't have any and I'd, it'd be quite hard to get hold of them. As I say what I've done in the past is cut down um, uh, car starter motor brushes to fit but this one's going back together so that'll go back in there like that and we've got to put this um, brush carrier back on the brushes go back on so that we follow this particular orientation Slips in there. So that's on there. Remember that grommet goes into that slot. On there. That will slot over. And then we've got some uh, shims that go on the back, like that, and then this crescent, so that retains the end piece, and then this cover goes back on. Don't forget there's a gasket on there. Now what we've got to do this end is just give this a good wipe over. We don't want any oil on this because that will just attract dust. This is a one-way clutch and the gear piece. 
give the centre of that a clean. I don't want to wash this in the in the uh, degreaser bath because I don't want to get um, um, degreaser inside this clutch. Sure, that slips up and down on there quite freely. So it goes on next. We're going to put this back on. And on. Okay. Up to there like that. And that slots in. So that's the body of the motor back together now we're going to just put this back together and that, those two dots should line up there. need to be just nipped up with the um, impact screwdriver. Okay. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that um, starter motor so the solenoid tag needs to go back on. Just so that's slipped on there. Okay.
that needs to that's nipped up now. Right. And the other thing we need to do is put the pivot pin nut back on. And then we can test it out. We put that in the vice like that. So uh, we're now going to test the starter, uh, and um, the uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to just test to see if um, the solenoid engages, and I can do that just by touching this cable here on the little tag on the little spade terminal so Bob if you just like to film what we should see is this will throw forward and it will just turn very slowly okay so that shows that the solenoid is working and uh, the reason why the, the motor turns is because the solenoid earths through the armature of the uh, starter motor and the, that the reason for that is so that uh, there's a, a good chance for the teeth to engage in case there is tooth to tooth abutment um, uh, if the motor doesn't turn so now we're gonna if you just film over here Bob now we're going to attach the cable to here as if it was the starter motor uh, connection proper I'm going to connect up this jump wire onto here and I'm going to activate the solenoid by touching on the terminal on this side and what we should see now is the starter engage and spin fast so again if you focus over there so that's a good good connection there